You know I love my shoes and I really don't want to hear a very bad word about any of them. Uh, but I uh, can reluctantly concede some stars are. But if for your feet they're a bit more comfortable than others. So to take us through uh, an assortment of wonderful shoes and the health of our feet, podiatrist Brendan Brown. Good morning, Brendan. Good morning. I don't know if I really want to speak to you, really. And look, I don't know if I want to speak to you, Carrie. And you, you're killing me. Every <laughs> time my, my patients and etc. see me, they know I come on your show and then you are wearing these shoes and these heels and promoting it, they're, they're, they're telling me why is this such a bad thing? Carrie Ann wears them. Exactly. Yes. So, but let's talk about the health of our feet. And you know I love my shoes. So, you do. what is the very worst uh, shoe that uh, a girl could, well, a person could wear? <laughs> A person uh, could wear the worst. The very worst shoe is probably the highest stiletto you can think about. Mm -hmm. That's that's the very worst shoe we could wear. Could the, I perhaps pick up this particular? Is that a very high stiletto? That is a, a, a reasonably high stiletto. Although there's an email going around at the moment that showed some uh, some very very high shoes, even higher than that, and they just they just grip me with fear. Um, that that is a podiatrist's dream. There's many an injury there for to come into my office with that <laughs> shoe. So I'd, okay, what about adding the platform? The platform definitely helps it because what it's really doing it's as you know creating an optical illusion but in fact also creating a little bit of stability in that shoe so that's really helping that okay. shoe. Okay but if one had a, um, a very high heel without the platform mm. like that and that's yeah. actually not even as high uh, as uh, shoes can get uh, why is that a bit dangerous for foot? Oh, look, that has no support whatsoever. That's, that, that is, to me, again, a very scary shoe. It looks like candy and probably is just about as good as wearing a piece of licorice on your foot. Uh, it really isn't a very good shoe. <laughs> it, it, it is it, a beautiful shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good that you could eat it. But, look, mm. the problem with that shoe is, once again, the really narrow heel. It, it's not too tall, which is a great thing, but the fact that the shoe is just so narrow in the heel and it's really pushing that centre of gravity forward which is just creating enormous pain not only in your feet but way up the chain we call it your chain so mm -hmm. your knees your hips your lower back okay, even well, your let's shoulders talk about why the high heel and the stiletto what happens physically to us yep. and what's connected to the knee bone and go yeah, on the way uh, to up to the hip bone and should we Get up and have a look. Oh, so, okay, uh, then. What do you want uh, to do? Uh, uh, really, what I'd like to do is let's get you up. Let's get you to stand up here and we'll watch you in. Shoes, a pair off of, on? shoes on first. Okay. So let's get up here. I'm wearing my very practical ones because yeah. you were on too. Yeah. <laughs> Girls from Cosmo would be horrified. Okay. But anyway, okay. And, and so what we really need to do is we, if we look at Kerry Ann now, and Kerry Ann, can you um, take your shoes off for us just yep. for a sec? Mm -hmm. And see, what that's doing straight away mm -hmm. is, is it's not allowing your pelvis to fall forward, okay. okay? It's also allowing, now can you grab up and go onto your toes? Right. And one of the things that happens automatically is we all start shaking. And the reason that mm. part of that happens is that our core stability is now much, so much, now much under pressure. So now you're telling me I've got to go to the gym. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> or, or, or just wear a lot of heels. So it, it, it creates a problem with our core stability. It, fr it pushes our centre of gravity way forward. So with okay. high heels, our centre of gravity goes this way. Yeah, so we're talking ab about three to five centimetres mm. in front of you. Your gravity so centre of gravity. Do? So that's going to put lots of pressure on your lower back. Mm -hmm. lots of pressure on the musculature in your hip it's going to internally rotate your knees okay and even create problems up in your upper back so that's a real you know that's like a trifecta of problems for you that also comes to the problem as you know you will well and truly know that now that you've worn so many shoes mm. for you to go into a flat shoe Hurts. Hurts. It hurts big mm. time. Because your muscles over years, I, I, I've seen a lot of flight attendants over the time, and the, the girls on those airlines are having to wear, as part of their mm. uniform, high heels. So what they have to do is they totter onto the plane, and then they get home and go into those flat shoes, and instantly they have pain. So they've got pain up into their calf muscle, because mm -hmm. the calf muscle, from spending so much time in a shoe like that, is in fact shortening. Okay. Well, given the fact we're not going to stop wearing high heels. No, 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 no. And we really wouldn't ask. That. No. So, if you are inclined to wear high heels, a lot of people, as you say, uh, flight attendants, uh, people working in shops, yep. want, restaurants, yeah. uh, you know, restaurants, they want to wear a good heel, mm -hmm. a reasonable heel. Yep. What, how can you then um, uh, work on your muscles and your back and your knees and your hips mm. to alleviate the 
health issues? Look, first of all, you should get yourself a, a bit of a stretching program. So you're right, almost mm. go to the gym. Make sure you've got really good core stability because that helps in wearing anything like that because mm -hmm. um, that's going to help all of your postural muscles in your even your lower back and your, and your core. Mm -hmm. um, we need to make modifying the shoes that we wear, mm -hmm. um, some stretching in the calf muscles, the hamstrings, and also a little bit of lower back stretching. And that's going to prepare us for, for mm. wearing those shoes. If we're going to wear those shoes, we probably want to walk around making sure that we, um, we spend a bit of time in those shoes before we spend a big night in them. Okay, yeah. what about a heel like this? Because this is a really funky shoe, mm. Sonia Reichel. Um, a really funky heel like that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's got a lot of stability in it. Mm. Yeah, it, it, and, and it's much better than this, for example, because this is really narrow and, mm -hmm. and you're definitely likely to twist your ankle or move in this shoe, despite the platform. So this in, for example, wow, this is a special shoe. Isn't it, it? It's beautiful. Look at that, there's a bit of flare. Um, really narrow heel, mm -hmm. but really pointy toes. Okay, what does really the pointy high. toe do to us? Well, once again, it, it's narrowing that base, okay? And so what this happens is much then? broader. Much narrower. So when you crunch your little unstable, toes. Unstable, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you, you're crunching them up, you're less stable in that shoe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and what it's also so doing is, of course... So when you say less stable, what, what sort of health injury can that cause? Oh, once again, we're going on to those stability problems. So you're more likely to sprain your ankle. You're more likely to get lower back Will pain. it do anything to the bones in your foot if you no stuff them doubt. in No doubt. This is, in fact, this is, you know, this is like a, a, a corset for feet. It really is creating lots of trouble. So it's squashing all those bones, oh. so it's likely to push those bones out of place and create lots of problems. Look at these girls. Come on. Work with me here, ladies. Is this fabulous or what? I mean, just, I mean, how can you say that's bad for I'm you? I'm probably not supposed to. Is this a health to... hazard, please? It's a health hazard. I can't say that it doesn't look nice. It's a <laughs> lovely shoe. Oh, even boots like this. This can't be all bad for winter. I mean, when do these look good? Yeah, they, they look very good. Once again, that's a better boot, as, as boots go, compared to this. Yeah, it's got lots of... That shoe's got more width in this area. It's broader in the heel. It's naturally going to be more stable mm. for okay, you. OK, well, let's get to some hit points yep. about the health of our feet uh, and, and what we should... In fact, over there, just those boots mm. there, flat boots, good or bad? Lovely. Beautiful. You can't go wrong with this boot. It, yeah, it's so practical. Yeah. Um, <laughs> OK. You say what, that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, the hit points of what we should do for health of our feet yeah, and our look, back. We should be doing things like um, stretching regularly to make sure that we're making sure mm -hmm. our, all of our muscles are stretched. We should prepare. We shouldn't be just running out in this shoe if you're going to go out. Prepare, get used to wearing this shoe so mm -hmm. you, your, your body's used to wearing this shoe. Mm -hmm. Make the shoe broader in the forefoot, broader in the heel section. The lower the heel goes, the better it will be. You're overall going to be more comfortable. Think practically, only wear this shoe from the cab into the venue. Don't wear it what? tottering we down the road. We could take our little ballet shoes. We could exactly. wear the ballet shoes in. What about ballet shoes? There's not a lot of support in that. No, but it's definitely going Beautiful to be... Shoes, uh, yeah, they're a lovely shoe, and it's definitely going to be more practical for long-distance walking mm. than this shoe is. So, you well, know, you've got to consider... you in these things. You know, how long is a cocktail party? Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of hours on your feet. It'd be great for you to wear a pedometer one day and tell us how much you're actually walking at a cocktail party. Well, I've been doing it for a while, Brie. Yeah, I, I think... I I say, I, I have been, but listen, I do know the value of what, so uh, we, we, if you are going for something a bit more practical, I mean, I get away with the others, but I probably don't do the marathons mm, in that's them. That's right. And, I sit a lot. And, and you've got used to wearing them. People aren't as, as, as you know. And I just stable. want to thank the girls at Cosmopolitan because they always help us out with our fabulous shoes that are really just too divine. Thank you very much. But Brendan, great advice, and I do listen to you, I promise. Thank you. Not My patience will be much but, over uh, <laughs> oh, no. Brendan George.